Hey everybody, Isola here, and for this particular video, we're going to do something a little different. You're getting a voiceover. During Comic-Con, I had the pleasure of speaking to Michael Grant with Stern Pinball, and he gave me an amazing walkthrough of the John Wick pinball game, explaining every little detail from what they pulled from the movie to even providing hints on how to boost your score. And no, there are no cheat codes. This is all hand-eye coordination, which I'm not very good at. In the John Wick pinball game, you play as John Wick. I mean, who else would you play? He is the world's greatest assassin. You can engage in high-speed car chases, fast action drifting across a play field. I mean, there's tons of things that you can do with this game. I didn't even know pinball games could do this. Those at Stern had to have watched the movies at least 100 times because every little detail was there. And the artwork was obviously inspired by some of those iconic locations from the franchise, including the Continental Hotel. I mean, you can't have this without that, right? Now, in the gameplay, you have to beat adversaries, complete jobs for the factions of the high table, and then eventually you take on what they call the John Wick Special Assignment. This pinball game is unlike any I have ever played. And let me tell you, I have played a lot. And it uses Stern's all new dynamic AI combat system, an innovation that brings the frenetic combat of the legendary films to the game. The pop-up arcade, which was at the Marriott Marquis, featured John Wick, obviously, and Godzilla, which I will share with you a little later. Um, along with some other Stern titles, and they were all amazing. Now, those who played had the chance to get their hands on some exclusive merch from the John Wick franchise. And I'm very sad that I didn't get to play to try to get any of that, but, you know, there's only so much time at a convention. Anyway, some of the merchandise included pinball t-shirts and they had a limited edition LP album featuring the game's original score. This was actually signed by Charlie Benante of Anthrax and Pantera, and there were only 500 copies sold on site. I would really love to see the 500 people who got those. There is so much more to this game that it would be a disservice if I tried to explain it all in this short video. So be sure to visit Stern's pinball site. I will make sure to put the link in the description. Um, and you can learn all about the John Wick pinball game, the apps that you can use so that you can play worldwide and keep track of scores to see who's on top. Yeah, that's a thing. I didn't even know. There's so much that has changed in the pinball game itself. It's ridiculous. So definitely check it out. Give Stern a like and a follow so that you can learn more about their pinball games and what's coming out. And don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any entertainment news. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.